This is the brand new 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible, and it is arguably the best looking convertible in the world. In this review video, let me show you the ins and outs, showcase the new soft top, and tell you how this LC500 convertible drives, so you can decide if this is the right car for you. Alright, let me hit the roads and get started. Alright, I'm on the roads. So first impression is, once you get in, you'll realize that this is a very cozy cabin. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, Lexus made the dash quite high. The windshield, very narrow because of the roof. The door panels are also high. Uh, the mirrors are small. And everything in here, in terms of the center console, the armrest is quite high. So once you get inside, you feel like you're very snug, right? Like everything is like really snug and it gives you that feeling that you're in something special, something different, more like a sports car. So it does, it does give you that sports car vibe. And these seats, these seats are very aggressive, even though they look beautiful, the stitching, uh, the leather, the softness, you know, they look absolutely gorgeous, just like the outside. But in terms of the bolstering, the size is actually smaller than I expected. So I'm not the smallest guy, but I'm not the biggest guy either. And I gotta say, like, they're really pressed against my back um, in terms of the bolstering. So if I was any bigger, if I had a bigger back, this will probably be a little bit uncomfortable. And plus, same thing with the bottom cushion with the bolstering. Now, what's great about this cabin is the luxury feel and quality. You could tell Lexus put every cent, every dime at making everything in here really luxurious and, and, and it shows, it shows. I've reviewed many Lexuses and also of course Toyotas in the past. This is nothing, nothing like anything else. Every single surface in here is soft leather everything the grab handle the the side of the console the door panels right even the steering wheel uh everything everything that you could touch and feel is covered with soft leather or or uh, alcantara like soft cloth i mean it really does feel really good in here really really good and the overall design is unlike any other lexus car out there now, before I tell you anything else about the inside, let's look at the outside, okay? Because I think the reason why, the biggest reason why people would buy this LC500 is due to its looks. It really looks like a prototype car, like a futuristic car that you could buy today. It is wide, it's low, it has wheels that are so big that it makes it look like a Hot Wheels car. Um, starting with the front end, you could see there's a gigantic grill and a huge long sloping hood and a very unique headlights and the, the teardrop shape that comes down. I mean, it just looks very different from anything else out there. And if you move to the side, you could see those huge, huge wheels. This one I'm driving has the optional 21 inch wheels and doesn't that look like a Hot Wheel because, <laughs> because the wheels are so big, right? But it looks so good. And I'll let you guys know that they affect ride quality. But just take a look at the profile. Again, very low roof, right? Even with the convertible top on, it has the right look. And when you take the top down, it also has the right look. The rear haunches are nice and big. And if you look in the back, just looks quite like nothing else on the road. You got quad exhaust finishers, the way the taillights are, and they're actually using glass to reflect the brake lights. In case you're wondering, this color is called liquid platinum, and it's a metallic silver. And this color is the least flashiest color for the LC500. But even with a silver color, which usually is kind of boring and neutral, it still fits this LC500 perfectly, and this still is a mesmerizing car. 
Now, because this is a convertible, the the trunk in the back is a little bit smaller than the trunk from a hardtop. But if you take a look at it, it's still wide enough and deep enough to put in golf bags, probably two or three bags, um, and it'll still fit back there. But don't expect too much. Now, to fold down the convertible soft top, it only takes about 15 seconds, and this is what it looks like. And according to Lexus, you can fold it up or down, even driving up to 30 miles per hour, which is quite fast. Now, you'll notice that I don't have the top down right now, and that's for uh, sound quality. Uh, I will test it out in a little bit, but right now I want to keep the, the top on so the sound isn't too muffled from the wind, but later on, I'll try it with the top down and see how it goes. Now, on the inside, I already described how elegant the, and luxurious the cabin is, how cozy it is. Now, let's take a look at some of the finer details. The steering wheel. Steering wheel, of course, covered in leather, actually has a really soft leather, and I really like the thickness. It just feels good and it looks good. You have a couple buttons on each side and you have very large paddle shifters on both sides. Now, look at the gauge cluster. Um, it looks it looks like a normal gauge cluster until, until you move it to the right. It's mechanical. The center ring actually moves to the right and that's where you can see info such as your settings and your trip computer and all that stuff. That is really, really cool. And of course, when you move it back, you can still get information with your tachometer, your speedometer, and temperature and fuel gauge, all that good stuff. But that's one of the little things that you really don't see in any other car. And you know that adds to the luxuriousness to this LC500. On either side, you do have these stocks that come out, which to me look a little bit out of place, but the one on the right side, this is where you can select your driving modes. You have normal, eco, and sport, and sport plus. And I'll test those out in a little bit. And on the right side, you do have one for snow mode. Next, let's talk about this infotainment screen. It's a, it's a large 10 inch screen, and the interface is better than all the other ones um, that I've tested and seen in Lexus cars. It looks similar, but it just works a little bit differently, and the quality, the, the resolution, and the brightness is just better. You could tell this is a better screen. Now, unfortunately though, this is not a touch screen, and you still do have to use the trackpad to kind of navigate, which isn't so difficult, but it would still be much easier if this was just entirely touch screen. So you do have to get used to it, but Lexus did add in a few buttons for quick navigation, and also you have a large knob for volume and power, and that's all there, so you do have to get used to that. Luckily though, there are physical buttons for climate control. Even though there is a climate control setting in the infotainment screen, you can still use the physical buttons, which is really, really, really good idea because some, you just don't want to fumble around with the infotainment screen sometimes, right? And it's really easy, it's covered in aluminum, and it just looks really good, really nice. Underneath, you actually still have a CD player, which is unheard of these days. Oh, by the way, this infotainment screen has been upgraded with Android Auto. That wasn't available before, um, in previous years, and that has been added, so that's nice, and of course, Apple CarPlay is already supported. Now you do have a single cup holder and the shifter is a little bit different. It kind of works the same way except uh, Lexus removed the park and there's a button for park. But outside of that, you still go up or down depending if you want to go to reverse, neutral drive, and on the side, you have manual. Now one thing that took me a while to figure out is where's the switch for the convertible soft top? Because I'm looking, I'm looking everywhere and I don't see it. And that's because it's hidden. There's a small cover underneath the touchpad. You lift it up and there's two switches. One for the convertible soft top, right? Where you can open it and close it. And another one for the windows where I'll automatically lower or, or raise both windows simultaneously. Underneath that, you do have 
kind of a cool armrest area where you can open it up slightly and then you can tilt it uh, to the side so that you have more storage space. And then there's two USB ports and a 12V outlet in there. Those are the only two USB ports you get in here. Next, let's talk about what's under a hood. So in this LC500, the reason why it's called 500 is because there's a five liter V8 that's under the hood. Now it's producing 471 horsepower and close to 400 pound feet of torque. And it's mated to a 10 speed automatic. Now you could get an optional Torsen limited slip differential in the rear, which this one is equipped with. Zero to 60 is about 4.4 to 4.6 seconds. Um, this convertible weighs about 200 pounds more than the hardtop coupe. So I would say it's probably around 4.6 seconds. And fuel economy is so-so, 18 miles per gallon combined. Now let's talk about the drive. One of the changes for 2021 is the upgrade suspension. Now Lexus tweaked a few things. From what I've read, they tweaked the front suspension, also the rear suspension, basically they're tweaking it to be more sporty and more comfortable. And I've talked about how this one is equipped with 21 inch wheels. So I was gonna let you know how comfortable it is and it affects ride quality. Overall, I think this is still a very, very, very comfortable drive. I was expecting with these large wheels that, that there would be a lot of rattles, you know, a lot of stiffness, um, a lot of bumpiness in here. And that's not the case. This is a smooth, smooth ride. Made a pretty aggressive turn through that bend and that felt good. No body roll and it was just quite smooth throughout. Uh, no surprises. So I think the, the ride, the, the suspension here is really, really good. Now, as for brakes, behind those 21 inch wheels up front, you have 15.7 inch rotors and in the back 14.1 inch rotors and massive Brembo calipers. I mean, the brakes are huge. But unfortunately inside, I'm noticing that brake feel isn't the greatest. The brake either comes on or off, there's no in between. And, and uh, when you press down on the pedal, it's like, just a little bit, immediately the LC500 comes to a stop. There's no forgiveness. And, you know, I think it's great if you track this LC500, but for normal driving, kind of hard to make a smooth stop. So um, the brakes, mixed bag. The steering, I like it. The steering has a good weight to it. Um, it gives that sporty feel to it. So I do like it in terms of precision, pretty precise, very little play, just a little bit like this, but as a nice weight, nice feel, I feel connected. It doesn't feel artificial. So the, the steering is quite nice. Noise level in here. Surprisingly, it's quiet and it's not. It's quiet because there's enough sound insulation in here where basically you can't hear anything. You know, when I'm, when I'm stopped right now, I hear more from the ventilated seats than from my surroundings. It is very, very, very well insulated. I hear nothing from the roads, no wind noise at all, no noise of any kinds from the cars or anything like that. But, but every time I accelerate, I hear the grumble from the exhaust, which is good and not so good. So for those of you guys that are used to Lexus, you know, quietness, right? You want an ultra silent car, you're not going to get that in here. Every time you accelerate, you do hear that, that very throaty V8 sound. And for me, um, because I like driving, I like big V8s and I cannot lie, I really like the exhaust sound. But for some of you guys, you may not like it. So the cabin is very quiet for the most part, except you could hear the exhaust note every single time you accelerate. As for safety features, you got Lexus Safety System Plus, which pretty much means you get everything. 
um, pre-collision warning and auto braking. You got lane assist, you know, radar guide, adaptive cruise control, also blind spot monitoring. Um, you pretty much get everything. The one feature that is very popular these days that this LC500 does not is a 360 view camera system. Um, so that is missing. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty darn fast. Not not lightning quick, but fast. It's definitely not slow by any means. You won't have any problems passing or even drag racing if you wanted to. Now, one of the things that also changed for 2021 is Lexus did retune the transmission, especially the downshifts so that it's a little bit more aggressive when you want to accelerate. So that is one of the things that changed for 2021. Yeah, anytime you put your foot down, you get that throaty V8 and you just rock it. I mean, it's a fun drive. It, it, Lexus did a really good job to make this feel more like a sports car than just a luxury cruiser. Things are a little bit different. <laughs> I got my baseball cap on, the convertible top is down. Hopefully this comes through, I can't really check until later, but hopefully the, the microphone or the, the, the sound doesn't get too muffled. It's definitely a different feeling with the top down. Unfortunately, I have to keep this window up because the camera is connected to it. Um, so. The way the wind is being diverted is a little bit weird because of this. However, it's a really, really airy experience. Unlimited amount of headroom, and there's just so much air moving around, and it's just a really different experience. This is why so many people love convertibles and why people have been begging Lexus to come out of the convertible version of LC500. It just makes sense. So many people will just buy this and drive it during the weekends, nice date night, or you know, they're somewhere sunny all year round and they want the top down. This is just perfect for it, it really is. As for pricing, the new LC500 convertible starts around $101,000, which is roughly $8,000 more than an LC500 hardtop. By the way, there's also a special inspiration series that comes with a special blue exterior paint and a special white leather trim inside. The cost for this is $119,800. To conclude, the 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible is arguably the best looking two-door convertible in the world and has one of the most luxurious cabins around. It has a nice throaty V8 exhaust, there's plenty of power, and has a sports car feel. However, the LC500 convertible in my opinion is held back by its snug cabin, aggressive seats, and touchy brakes. And of course, its huge price tag. Overall, I'm giving the brand new LC500 convertible a score of 91. To see how it ranks among its peers and to check out other car reviews and rankings, go to driversonlyrankings.com. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews, news, and first looks.